Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter, boom, 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 review stuff. And I am sitting here drinking my Starbucks. <laughs> in the parking lot of Ikea, which is absolutely packed on the Saturday afternoon. Um, and I've been meaning to do this review for a while now. One of my, uh, I would say, most commented on videos that I've ever done is when I went inside and I walked around to Ikea and I reviewed the uh, vegan meatballs and like their cafeteria and stuff, which if you didn't see that review, you should go check it out. But I absolutely loved their cafeteria food here. So at the time that I did that review, um, they have a little deli when you walk inside, and they have vegetarian hot dogs. And I've heard a lot about this, okay? I've heard that their hot dogs are good. I've heard that their hot dogs suck. I don't know. But it is 54 degrees in Indianapolis. It is chilly outside today. Chilly? A summer fit. It's chilly outside, and so I thought, listen, okay? When it's cold and the leaves are changing and it's fall in Indiana, I think about the football. And when I think about football, <laughs> no, I don't think about 50 yard, di yard line touchdowns because I don't touchdown. I'm 50. I don't know what any of that means, okay? I don't understand football. I don't watch football. I don't get it. I don't understand anything about football. But when I think about football, I think about wieners. Oh my God, family probably know. Not those kind of wieners. I think about hot dogs. So I thought, why don't I go into Ikea and I will see if they have these vegetarian hot dogs. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you remember when you were in elementary school and anybody would say the word wiener in like relation to a hot dog and then everybody would die laughing? It's like when I say, somebody even commented this the other day because I did the, the Burger King review and somebody said Booger King on there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go into, how do I turn my car off here? I'm going to, uh, I should do a review on this car because I can't figure out half the crap that goes on in here. But anyway, I'm going to go into Ikea now. I'm going to take you with me. Now, I don't know. Do you hear if there's a plane overhead? Why didn't you take me with you? I like trips. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go into the Ikea and I'm gonna see now if there's music playing when we walk in. It's somebody's mirror. If there's music playing, just to prove to you that I am at Ikea there, okay, that I'm not just at the hot dog stand. Um, I'm gonna go in here and <laughs> see if they have these vegetarian, um, they're supposedly vegan hot dogs and they're supposed to be really, really good. I was just reading um, an article on the Google. Don't you love the Google? Anything that you wanna know in the world, I should do a review on the Google. Should I do a review on the Google? Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go in here and see if they have it. Now, I will tell you, but the last time that I did the, <coughs> excuse me, the Ikea review, it is cold and I have shorts on. The last time that I did the Ikea review, there was music playing in the store in the entire background. So a lot of countries, I couldn't play it <laughs> because of the music. So if the music is playing as soon as we walk in, which it is, I can hear it right now, I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna get my hot dog and then I will be back. So two veggie dogs and a fountain drink are 460 to 580 calories and it is $2.75. So you can see they have a full deli here. And then you can get your fountain drinks over there and stuff. They have a full deli. So that's what I'm gonna be getting here. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm not really sure what I think about these hot dogs, okay. So here's what they look like so far. And they have like cabbage. And they asked me if I wanted everything on it, and I said, yeah, put everything on it, and I'll try it. This is what it looks like up close. They are 100% vegan hot dogs. And then here's all of their fountain drinks that you can get. Cola, Diet Cola, fruit water, Diet Cola, and then mustard and ketchup. So I'm going to fill these up with some mustard, and then I am going to go out to the car and try these. Okay, we're back in the car. Now, I have to tell you, like I said earlier in there, or two seconds ago, I don't know how excited I am about these. They don't look delicious. Um, the area where you get the soda was, like, so completely messed up. And when the soda came out, it, like, sprayed all over the place. It got all over my hands. They were out of napkins, so I had to go up and ask for napkins. And, like, this is, like, the... I filled this all the way to the top. I had to put this lid on it. It's like you... And this is 16 ounces. The cola tastes nasty. It tastes like flat Fanta or RC Cola. It's horrible. Um, yeah, it's like some of the worst cola I've ever had. But I have to say for $2.75 for a meal, it's not bad. They had this thing up there. It was interesting because like literally everybody in the diner area was eating the vegetarian hot dogs. So I don't know how new they are. Because when I came like a month and a half ago, they already had them. But... 
everybody up there that was in line was getting the vegetarian hot dogs. So there was this, and they had this paper that was like laminated on the counter, and I was reading it, waiting. Um, they were a little surly in there. So they were like, what do you want on it? And I was like, what are my options? And they're like, they shouted it out. They're like, cabbage, mustard. And I was like, all of it. I'll just give it to me all, whatever you have on there. Um, it was crowded in there, but they shouted at the next customers behind me too, which were this couple. And they got them and they were eating them as I was putting the mustard on it. And so I heard her talking about the meatballs and she said to her boyfriend or husband, I think it was her husband, she said that they were cute. Real good. Don't you love cute couples when you see them out? They're so fun. I was like thinking to myself, oh, they're like shopping at the Ikea on a Saturday. That's so romantical. Anyway. Um, so, uh, I said, oh, have you been to their cafeteria? Their vegetarian meatballs are really great. Their, the vegetarian stuff is really good. They're like, no. She's like, oh, no. She was like, because uh, I said, are you vegetarians? And she said, yeah. And I, and she said, but that's good to know. And I said, uh, how are the hot dogs? And he goes, they're okay. They're, they're okay. They're good. And she just kind of looked at me. So, I don't know what that means, but we're going to try them. Are you ready? Okay. So, this is what the hot dog looks like. It's got like red cabbage on it, and then I put mustard on top of it. So, here we go. <laughs> it doesn't taste anything like a hot dog. Um, okay, so, first of all, I was gonna say, if you don't know, that by and large, vegetarian or vegan food, by and large, um, this is a generalization, but it typically is true, is more expensive than regular, like, meat. So if you get, like, an Impossible Burger, for example, it's more expensive than a regular Whopper, right? One of the reasons why I like the Impossible Meat, Impossible Burger, is because it tastes very, very similar to, like, a Whopper or to a, you know, like, the nacho, or the nachos, the taco that I did at Qdoba. Qdoba. All of these things are coming out now. I don't know if you know this. That supposedly impossible meat is not good for you. And they're doing a lot of testing and they're finding out that there's all these studies that it's not healthy. Which makes me very, very sad because I feel like it was a meat substitute option that was like really good for us. This, it just tastes like, I mean, I've had better veggie hot dogs. Like Morningstar to me are better than this. Like they taste more like a hot dog than this does. And if you can see inside, I don't know if you can see the hot dog. But it, it looks like a vegan hot dog. It looks like, it looks like vegan meat. I have mustard on my th finger. It tastes like vegan meat. I mean, when you're holding it like this, it gives you the idea of eating a hot dog. But it tastes like vegan meat that's in the shape of a hot dog. It's just really not that great. <laughs> Thank God I got the cabbage on it, right? You know how I am. Within three seconds, I'll say it's the best hot dog I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my god, this hot dog is the best hot dog I've ever had! But my opinion's not changing on this one. They had cinnamon rolls in there, too. I knew I should have got one. No wonder he was so surly working in there. He's probably had too many of these. They have regular hot dogs, too, in case you go there and you want something better. Mmm, delicious. It kind of resembles a turd a little bit. <laughs> I mean, like a dog turd. It really kind of does. I mean, let's just not even look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> mm, I was so hopeful. Yeah, this sucks. I was so excited. I was excited to eat something that would taste straight up like a hot dog. You know what I mean? Because I do have to say, like, when we go to baseball games, <laughs> I don't like to football, but we do go to baseball games. When we go to baseball games and stuff, like, Alex always gets a hot dog, um, and we'll get, like, nachos and whatever, like, which is basically cheese on chips. But I wanted a hot dog for a long time, and this sucks. This is horrible. Yeah, it's bad. Look at it. Look at it! Will you look at it? Do these people not know that I'm trying to film a review video? I mean, seriously. Psh. <laughs> Psh. <laughs> I'm famous. <laughs> no paparazzi, please. 
What would you do if they just like looked in the window? <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I'm not. I'm not gonna even eat the other one. Well, and the soda sucks. The whole experience was bad. Yeah. Don't do it. Just don't do it. And then who wants to eat a, veg a vegan hot dog with bad cola? It's called cola. I should have known when they called it cola. With bad cola and then wash it out with Starbucks. Ugh. Anyway, if you guys have tried these, I would like to let I would like to let you know. I would like to let you know that you're a fool. Okay, you should have tried them. You should have waited for me. No, but if you've tried these and you liked them, can you let me know in the comment section below? Because I think that's embarrassing and I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> but if you haven't tried them, I wouldn't recommend them. I'm actually gonna give these out of five. I mean, okay, here's how I feel about it. I'm happy that IKEA, because like they said on there why they're doing it, and it said they're trying to meet the vegetarian and vegan needs of their customers, which I think is great, okay? I wish more restaurants, and I think more restaurants are moving into this trend. This is like a very serious review, isn't it? I'm happy that they're trying to meet their customers' needs, okay? This did not meet my needs, okay? This was disgusting, and I don't want it ever again. I, the vegan meatballs at Ikea are fantastic. They're so good. This was crap. It was gross. I don't ever want it again. I would give it a 0.5 star because 0.5 for effort. Okay. For trying to do something for the vegan movement and the vegetarian movement. But other than that, the line that I had to wait in the poor ass cola, all of it, I'm out of $3, which I could have spent for some of that big league chewing gum <laughs> that I could take to my next baseball game. So anyway, um, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Put it in the comment section below. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.